We are following a developing story tonight. It took over three days, but authorities finally found Philip Paul. He was hiding in Klickitat County, and one of the officers who arrested him was the very same one he assaulted more than 18 years ago. Good evening, I'm Tori Brunetti. Paul was caught this afternoon. Paul escaped from the Spokane County Interstate Fair Thursday. He was on a field trip from Eastern State Hospital. Paul was caught near the town of Goldendale, just south of his hometown of Sunnyside. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office says Paul was apprehended by three of their deputies who had been looking for Paul in the area since dawn. It was a single tip that led authorities to Philip Paul, 260 miles away from Spokane. Sheriff's investigators said they found Paul trying to catch a ride on the side of the road. KXY Force Clean O'Brien reports on the string events that led to his capture. It was at 4.05 this evening that sheriff's deputies were able to announce that the massive manhunt that made national headlines was over. It took one tip and 72 hours to take down Philip Paul. It, it has been one of the largest manhunts in this region for the last many years. According to Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich, once Paul escaped from the fair on Thursday, he duped a friend into driving him south to Goldendale to stay with his family. But when his friend learned that Paul was part of a nationwide manhunt, he quickly dropped him and called authorities. They found him on the side of the road, and when deputies approached him with a helicopter monitoring from the sky, Paul simply said, I'm done. He knew that he was, uh, he had been located. He had been uh, feeling the pressure of the, the presence of the helicopter uh, all day long, and uh, he surrendered without incident. When they found Paul, he had a red sleeping bag, a guitar, a backpack, and most disturbing, a rusty sickle. This is a situation that, in my opinion, should not have happened, and I will be asking the state legislature, the governor, and the secretary of Department of Social and Health Sciences to help us change some laws so this does not happen again. More specifically, Sheriff Knezovich wonders why nobody questioned Paul when he packed a large bag with clothes, money, and food to take to a fair. Why the fair had no clue there were Eastern State patients at family night and why security from the hospital waited two hours to notify his department that a patient had escaped. They was very, very concerned about this, uh, this situation. There was a lot of fear in the community, people uh, locking their windows. I want the citizens of Spokane County to know tonight they can sleep in peace. Philip Paul will spend tonight in a Yakima County jail. He has a warrant out and will face a judge in the next few days. After that, he will be sent back to Spokane County. In the studio, Colleen O'Brien, KXOY4 HD News.